Welcome back guys. Now in this video, let's discuss about different cardiac reflexes. Now the first cardiac reflex which I want to discuss here is a Cushing's reflex. Okay, Cushing's reflex. So what exactly is this Cushing's reflex? The first point which I want you to remember is this Cushing's reflex is a bradycardic reflex. Which means whenever this Cushing reflex happens in your body, what happened to heart rate? Heart rate decreases. It's a bradycardic reflex. Now, when you are going to have this Cushing reflex, see Cushing reflex is go going to be seen in those conditions whenever there is increased intracranial pressure. Okay, see whenever there is increased intracranial pressure in all those conditions, Cushing reflex will take place. Now you will get it out. Sir, what is the relationship between increased intracranial pressure and bradycardia? Why it is happening? For example, think like this. Whenever there is a head trauma, okay, whenever there is head trauma, now what's going to happen? Hemorrhage is going to happen. Okay, hemorrhage is going to happen inside the skull or hemorrhage is going to happen inside the cranium. Now this hemorrhage is going to transform into hematoma. Now remember in the cranium there is not enough space for this hematoma or I should say there is only space for the brain. In the cranium there is only space for the brain. There is no extra space for all these accumulations. So now whenever there is a hemorrhage and that hemorrhage is going to now form the hematoma. Now this hematoma is occupying the space so which is increasing the intracranial pressure. So whenever intracranial pressure increases what happens? Now the vagus nerve is going to be activated which is a parasympathetic nerve. Now we all know vagus nerve is going to decrease the heart rate by releasing the acetylcholine. So what is the important point which I want to put into your mind is so Cushing reflex is a paradigmatic reflex. Okay, heart rate is going to be decreased. Seen in which conditions? Whenever there is a head trauma, hemorrhage will happen. Hemorrhage will transform into hematoma. Okay, hematoma. And that hematoma increases the intracranial pressure. So whenever intracranial pressure is increased, vagus nerve is going to be activated. Vagus nerve is a parasympathetic nerve which decreases the heart rate. So bradycardia is happening. So this is a bradycardic reflex. Okay. Now after that, now let's discuss about the Bain bridge reflex. Now this Bain bridge reflex. Okay, it's an example of tachycardiac reflex. Okay, it's an example of tachycardiac reflex. Now what is happening in this Bainbridge reflex. Okay, what is happening in this Bainbridge reflex? It's very simple guys. Now just think logically something like this. Whenever you, you are sending more blood to the heart, heart have to work more or work less. Just think logically whenever you are putting more blood into the heart, simply heart have to work more. In the same way, whenever you are increasing the venous return to the heart, whenever you are putting more blood into the right atria, now a reflex is going to happen in such a way that at the end of the day, heart rate increases. So simple logic, right? Now, you are putting more blood into the right atria. Means you have increased the venous return. Now, right atria, it understood. Okay, more blood is coming. So, it will give the information to the central nervous system that, okay, now heart rate will increase. Now, heart rate will increase. Right atria is communicating to the central nervous system. Now, it, right atria is telling to the central nervous system that more blood is coming. So, you have to increase the heart rate. So, central nervous system, what it will do? It will increase the sympathetic activity. So, heart rate increases. Now we'll discuss, like you know, the same thing one by one. In brain bridge reflex, what is the stimulus? I have already explained to you the stimulus is increase venous return to the heart. Whenever you increase the venous return to the heart, especially to the right atrium, okay, especially to the right atrium, that is the reason why the brain bridge reflex is also called as the right atrial reflex. It's an atrial reflex, okay, brain bridge reflex, which is also called as the atrial reflex. The stimulus is increase venous return to the heart. Now, what are the receptors? Okay, where, where exactly are the receptors? Okay, th these volume sensing receptors, more venous return is coming, right? So, where are these volume sensing receptors present? Now, these volume sensing receptors are present in both the atria, right atria as well as the left atria. Now, these receptors are activated. Okay, now these receptors are activated. Now, these receptors are communicating. Now, see the efferents, the efferents is going through the vagus now. Now, the vagus now is giving the information to the central nervous system that there is more volume coming. Now what happens? Now the central nervous system is going to give the information back to the heart via the sympathetic nerve. Now the sympathetic nerves are activated. Okay, the sympathetic nerves are activated. Now more sympathetic activity in the heart. So what happens? Heart rate increases. So if you put more blood into the heart, especially to the right atrium, the heart rate automatically increases. The information is going to the central nervous system with the help of the vagus nerve and the information is coming down okay, to the heart with the help of the sympathetic nerves. So, Cushing reflex is completed as well as the Bain bridge reflex is completed. Now, after that, let's discuss about the basal jarish reflex. Okay, so what exactly is this basal jarish reflex? Again, it is an example of bradycardiac reflex. Simple, the heart rate is coming down. Bradycardiac reflex. Now, 
What are the stimulus for the basogenesis reflex? Whenever you put certain chemicals into the heart, for example, think logically. Whenever there is a myocardial infarction, now tissue is dying, right? Now certain chemicals are going to be released. Now in this condition, heart have to work more or heart ha heart have to work less. Automatically, heart have to work less. See, some trauma is happening, some injury is happening, heart is dying. During those conditions, automatically heart rate have to come down. Okay, so the stimulus is the presence of these chemicals like serotonin, or valatidine, and capsaicin. So whenever you put these chemicals into the heart. what happens now the information is going via the unmyelinated vagal c fibers mcq this is mcq okay now the unmyelinated vagal c fibers are going to be activated this information is going to the central nervous system now central nervous system it understands that something is wrong with the heart so automatically the response the response is going to be like see bradycardia this is the important point which i want you to know see the patient is also going to have like you know apnea followed by rapid breathing and the patient is going to have like you know decrease bp but important point which i want you to know in the cardiac reflexes is that whenever you put certain chemicals into the heart like capsaicin serotonin or valatidine now the information is going to the central nervous system via the unmyelinated vagal c fibers now central nervous system understood that there is something wrong with the heart so now heart rate decreases simple parasympathetic activity is going to be increased okay the parasympathetic activity is going to be increased so that causes the hypotension and bradycardia as well as the apnea followed by the rapid breathing now what is the clinical importance i have already explained to you see it causes sinus bradycardia during myocardial infarction during myocardial infarction the heart rate the heart rate decreases the heart rate decreases why why because of basal janis reflex okay so never ever forget basal janis reflex is a bradycardic reflex but bain bridge reflex the atrial reflex is a tachycardic reflex and cushing reflex is also a bradycardic reflex all are the bradycardic reflexes no no doubt all are bradycardic reflex except bain bridge reflex Now after that, let's talk about one more reflex, which is called as the oculocardiac reflex. See, in the name itself, it's very clear. Oculocardiac reflex, which means something related to the eyes. Oculo, cardiac, something related to the heart. So whenever you do something with your eyes, heart rate changes. Okay. So oculocardiac reflex, which is also called as Ashner phenomena or Ashner Dagny reflex. Okay. Now what exactly happens, sir? See, whenever you cause the compression of eyeballs, sometimes you do right. So whenever you cause the compression of eyeballs, or like you know, whenever you do oculocardiac massage, okay, whenever you do the massage to the eyeballs, actually your heart rate decreases. If you ask me how, if you ask me how, so whenever you are compressing the eyeball or doing massage to the eyeball, what happens is the information. Okay, see which nerves are going to be activated now? Long and short ciliary nerves. Okay, the long and short ciliary nerves are going to take the information, like you know. take the information to the central nervous system to the trigeminal nucleus okay trigeminal nucleus now from the trigeminal nucleus vagus nerve is going to come out okay the inference the inference the inference are coming via the vagus nerve so at the end of the day what i am trying to put into your mind is so whenever you compress the eyeball whenever you compress the eyeball okay so at the end of the day vagus nerve is going to be activated when vagus nerve is activated automatically there is bradycardia so oculocardiac reflex or oculocardiac massage or ashner dagny phenomena all of them are going to cause decrease heart rate decrease heart rate whenever you compress the eyeballs the information afferents are going to the central nervous system with the help of long and short ciliary nerves so whenever the central nervous system is activated now the vagus nerve is going to be activated the efferent efferent neurons are coming by the vagus nerve so which, which is a parasympathetic nerve which decreases the heart rate so with this we have discussed the four important types of cardiac reflexes which you need to know for your exam hope the video is helpful thank you